Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. Those are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquats, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shad Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And, you know, I just wanted to do a quick lesson with this article that was sent by the brother in the chat. It says, from fertilizer to farming, the global food shortage explained. And before I go into it, you know, starting from the elder apostle Taha and the rest of the apostles, these men have been teaching you. They've been preaching about this time that's about to come. They've been teaching you for over 30 years, close to 40 years, you know, and informing you about the things that are about to happen, you know. But the wise ones, they took heed. They feared the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai. They repented, came out from churches, came out from 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 their wicked beliefs, various religions where they found themselves, and you know, embraced the true name of the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, and you know, embraced back their heritage. That's what the wise ones did, in which you know, hopefully Yahweh Shemi Shai Ratazam part of that number, you know. But the foolish ones, you know. They despise everything that's been told them, you know. And the days are coming in which, you know, these people, they aim for a rude awakening. They don't know what's about to come, you know. Because what these devils in power, they do is they put all different kinds of distraction right in your front, you know. You don't see what's going on. They come up with all different kinds of distraction, you know, the Will, Slips, Will Smith slap, um, um, what's, what's his name? Um, Mike Tyson punching someone on a plane and all these things. These are distractions, you know, to cover your eyes from what's about to come. You know, the main issue down there is there is a huge time coming, a really difficult and wicked time coming. The same time of Jacob's trouble. There's going to be famine. People are going to die. There's going to be um, lawlessness. You know, all hell is about to break loose. And the people that are going to survive that time are the people the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai decides to preserve, you know. The rest of the people are all going to die like foul, you know. Then we have um, the Third World War, you know, which is still cooking. And it's almost ready. Everything is ready right at the, at, at the front. But before that time, there are certain things that we've been teaching that they must come to pass, you know. And all these things that we're saying, you know, shortages of food. You know, farming and all these things, this is going to lead to that point, which that major thing that's about to happen is this. I'm not going to speak about it because, you know, these people are putting down videos. I'm just going to show you. So as you can see, you can read from yourself for yourself. This is the book of Revelation. You see that chapter right there from this verse downward. This thing, you see this thing? It's on its way. They already have it ready. It's prepared. And this is what it's going to be. It's a literal thing, you know, not what all these wicked Hebrew Israelite camps are telling you. You know, it's a literal thing. Let me just show you what it looks like. And this is not a joke, man. This is something that's, you know, I had an article some days ago, but I couldn't. I couldn't do a lesson on it because, you know, I don't want them to take down this channel. So as you can see, you know this thing, if you don't have it very soon, you know, you can't buy, you can't sell, you can't do certain things, you know. As a matter of fact, you can't do anything in this society because it's going to be connected with your documents. If you want food, you're going to need that. You know, very soon everything will be rationed, you know, your food will be rationed. You know, everything will be rationed. Everything will be measured, man. So if you don't have that thing that I just showed you, you know, this is what's coming for you, man. 
And we, through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, we know that, you know, if it cost us to lose our lives for not taking that thing, you know, it's going to be a honorable death. And this is the spirit in which, this is the mindset in which you need to have right now, you know. That's why the scripture tells you that, you know, this knowledge is going to be the stability of our times. This knowledge is the stability of our times. Let me, let me see. I know it's in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 33, it says, And wisdom and knowledge of this truth, okay? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure, you know? So, you know, the fear of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai is going to keep us true because we know the consequences if we take this thing. If we take this thing, we know the consequences, man. If this thing gets put in our right hand or our forehead, you know, we know the consequences. If this thing get put into our body, we know the consequences. So, with the fear of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, we wouldn't. We don't care, man. Even if they're going to kill us, you know. All we all we praying right now is for the most high Yahweh Shemi Shai to give us the spirit to be able to face whichever um temptation that comes our way, you know. And the scripture tells you in the book of um first Corinthians, the tenth chapter, that um there is no let me get it, don't want to butcher that scripture. Where is it? First Corinthians, the tenth chapter, I believe the thirteenth verse. Can. It says, There are no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So, whatever temptation comes our way, because we know according to the scriptures, you know, many of our brothers are going to be beheaded for this thing, you know. I might be part of that number. My prayer is the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai gives me the spirit to take, to take it as a man. You know, this is the spirit we all really need to be in. You know, it's easy to say, but right at the front of that danger, we want to see. So that's why we really need to start preparing our spirit right now and praying for the Most High to give us the spirit. That same spirit, you know, the brothers, the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they had that same spirit that the 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 Maccabean family. They had that same spirit that the priest Eleazar had, you know, and he stood at the front of death, you know. That same spirit, we're praying the Most High gives us that spirit if our portion is to pay with our lives, you know. But we're also praying for mercy, you know. We're praying for mercy. But then, what, whatever the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai wants to do, no one can question, you know. So, let's get to the article it says, from fertilizer to famine, the global food shortage explained. It says, war on Ukraine has sent food prices rocketing and the effects are being felt around the world. And truly, the effects are being felt around the world. Anyway, I'm not going to read this to not keep it too long, you know. That's... That's um adding right there is um is good enough, you know. If you want to see this article for yourself, you can ask, I'll drop the link, or you can go to the week.co.uk, you know. So it's actually speaking of you know the war that's going on in Ukraine right now, you know, Ukraine being one of uh, the major producers of, of grain, Ukraine and, and and Russia put together. You know, being the major players, you know, I think they give about 15 to 30 percent of the world grain. And the, the thing there that's apart from that grain is, you know, majority of the fertilizers that's used all around the world comes from that region. Russia, Ukraine and Belarus, you know, they come from that region. And now there is war. So people are not getting their, 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 their supply in order to be able to plant, you know. And then you're having all these different kinds of um, climates, um, weather um, tweaks, I'll put it like that. Because the so-called devils in power, you know, they have the technology to manipulate the weather. 
But at the end of the day, we know that whatever they do, it's the most high Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai that's doing it through them, you know? Because everything that has been done has been decided by the most high Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai, you know? He selects the instruction in which man needs to go the next day. That's the book of Job. Let me get it real quick. Let me get it real quick. See, let's instruction. That's the book of Job 33. It says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men in the slumbering upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and selects their instruction that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. Okay? So, in other words, at night while we sleep, the most high programs our mind. And whatever we have to do the next day, we carry it out. Everything is being programmed. So the most high has his righteous people who are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos. You know, for the major part, then you have the Israelites that are scattered in all different parts of the world that they're looking like all the various nations where they find themselves. Then you have the sons of the wicked, which is Esau, Edom. Those are the people actually in power right now, you know. So the Most High seals his instructions in the minds and hearts of men. Whatever has been invented, it's the Most High that gives the knowledge and the instructions to make it be invented. So when this man manipulates weather, it's the Most High doing everything through the hands of, his, of the wicked, you know. So people are complaining that, you know, they're not getting enough. They can't get harvest, you know, because the seeds, you know, there's so much erosion, you know, plants are not growing. And it's very, very important to, to use fertilizers, fertilizers to grow plants. You know, you can watch the lessons that the elders, um, Elder Raka Yaquam and um, Elder, Elder Rayala, they always do the algos. They always go into these topics, you know. They'll tell you the, 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 the usefulness of fertilizers, how, how important fertilizers are to grow plants. So you see all these things, seeds are already meant to be planted now, but you know, there is no supply. And then these devils are buying all the landmass, you know, because they want to really generate that famine. They want you to be on your knees because when you're hungry, you're more vulnerable to whichever commands be given to you. If they tell you to go on a queue, and take that thing that I just showed you, you know, they tell you to take it, you don't think twice because you want to eat, you know. So that's what these devils are actually up to, you know. Now, there is another article that I have in which this is already taking place already. It says, let me translate it to English. It says price identical but less produce produced what is the shrinkflation denounced by consumers now you need to understand what shrinkflation is let's see if it gives us it says reduction in the size or weight of retail products especially items of packaged food with no corresponding reduction in the retail prices in other words saying that we don't have um supplies okay either from grains in which you know lots of products are made with grains these grains everything you know so what they do is they start reducing the sizes of the products like for example if you buy a pack of chips if you used to have 100 pieces of it in it you know shrinkflation comes in because there is lack of um of of materials you know to produce them more so they start taking, reducing the number of that, of that chips, you know, they give you the same, they might give you the same pack, but you know, inside it's no longer 100 chips, but it's now maybe 50 or 60, you know? So they're doing this thing not to let people feel, what they call it, they call it um, control reaction. I can't remember what the term is, you know? They don't want people to go into panic and feel the impact of the war that's going on in um in Ukraine, you know. So they, they go into this shrinkflation. But a time is coming in which the product is not even going to be it's not going to be available because once they finish what they have on store in store, because right now Ukraine is no longer exporting 
grains okay they stopped exporting grains because of the war and apart from that also to to caution themselves you know not to run into farming because of the war that's going on so they've stopped exporting grains you know so once europeans they finish their consumptions what they have in their storehouses because now you're seeing your your supermarkets are being filled because you know they're still giving you what they have in store you know these are the things that they have in stores but once that store runs out you know it's going to be total farming man you know it's going to be chaos so this is what they're trying to control that's why they bring in shrinkflation you know which it's all part of the tricks that these devils use to always keep you in captivity but the reason why they're doing all this is because of this thing that i showed you you know which is going to be the next step it's going to contain your identity it's going to contain the new the new form of money the new form of payment which is um which is going to be digital you know don't want to say too much because this devil's right here you know be clipping channels you know i already showed you it's here man it's here it's this book right here it's in this chapter and you go down to the last three verses you know you read it for yourself you know it's that thing that I just that I just showed you. So the Bible speaks about famine to come. You know, there are different. This is the book of Matthew 24th chapter. On um, the seventh verse, it says, For nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdom, and there shall be famine and famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. You know, all these are the beginning of sorrow. All these are the beginning of sorrows, okay? So, hey, just like I said at the beginning, this truth is going to be the stability of our time, man, you know? Because we are about to step into the time of Jacob's trouble. This is the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. These are all scriptures, you know, if you're following this truth for a long time, you should know by us. You should know deep in your heart. These, are, these scriptures are, 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 are basic, you know? This is the book of Jeremiah 37. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know? Jacob is going to be saved out of it, out of it you know? Even if you, if you die, you'll come back to the kingdom and you'll be in the position, the right position in which you're meant to be. But all the wicked of the house of Jacob, excuse me, all the wicked of the house of Jacob, they are all going to pay daily for the, with their life, you know? If you don't repent and you still keep following the ways of the wicked, judgment is coming for you. Now, this is the book of Daniel. Many people are going to die of starvation anyway. Daniel 12, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Okay? And this is speaking of the return of our Savior, Yahweh Shai, you know, at the end is going to come back, coming back with the, the with Michael, the, the angel of war, you know, the name Michael means Mika Allah, which means who is like the power, who is like the most high Yahweh Shem you know, they're going to come and destroy the remaining of what they find of this kingdom and take the kingdom from the hands of the wicked and give it back to Israel, you know. But it says, before then, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even at that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found where? Written in the book. So, how do you, how do you get yourself, you know, written in the book? Um, let's say the book of Revelation. I think it's the third chapter. Can this is the book of Revelation, the third chapter, the tenth verse? It says, "Because thou hast kept the kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." You know, so you know that's why we we doing this work that we're doing. You know, going out every week, you know, to teach the people to wake the sons of Israel, just like I explained, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos. To wake up to their heritage, to come out of these wicked religions where they find themselves, to come out of Christianity. Christianity is one of the most wicked religions out there because they teach you philosophies that are not even present in the Bible, you know? 
We tell them to repent, you know, to embrace the true name of the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, and the name of His only begotten Son, who is Yahweh Shai. This is why we do all these things, so the Most High might have mercy on us, you know. We try our best, the best of our abilities to keep these commandments, you know. Even if we can't keep everything and we know we are not going to be saved through the commandments, but by the grace of our Savior, Yahweh Shai. But we are not meant to abandon these commandments. That which we can keep to the best of our abilities, we keep them, you know. So this is what it is, you know. There is a time coming in which, man, a time like never before. And you should go read the book of um, Second Esdras, the 16th chapter and the 15th chapter, you know. People are going to be that hungry that they'll start eating their own flesh, eating their own children. We are getting into that time. Don't let anyone deceive you. Don't let the distractions carry you away. This is the time you want to be seeking the Most High Yehawba Hashem Shai, because you know a time is also coming in which we would not be, be we would not be able to teach this truth anymore. You know, saying that these devils in power they're moving. You know, they're doing everything to 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 change the narrative. You know, to to block those who are who are saying things against the way they want to say it. You know, they're doing all different kinds of wickedness. You know, but hey. This is what it is, man, you know. So, seek the most high, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, is available to be found, you know. Hopefully, this short lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of the most high, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, and on to the next one. Shalom.